I wanted to show you guys this. I know it looks like it's only in silver, but if I were to hop on and shop with you guys, it does come in rose gold, gold, and silver. So you do have options here. And guys, I'm just curious. What do you guys like to wear when it comes to jewelry? Are you more gold or are you more silver? Or do you like both? I don't know how I feel about the silver gold combo. Like usually if I have one on, I want to keep it, you know, monochromatic and just keep that tone going. And then if I switch over to silver, I'm just going to go all the way silver. But to be honest with you, I have converted to gold when I was younger. I was super into silver and that was like my thing. Gold, that's how I am too, Pam. And then I, once I switched over to gold, I just couldn't go back. I don't know. It just looks so great on all skin tones. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys this silver mirror ring. It does come in gold as well. I thought I was presenting the gold one to you guys, but it's all good. You can still shop the gold one. And once I'm done kind of showing you guys a similar ring that I have, I will go in and shop with you guys and kind of show you the mirror ring as well. So this company here actually works with 14 karat gold and rhodium plated pieces. And this ring here is one size fits most. So I just want to make you guys aware of that when you're shopping with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and record the screen and kind of show you guys where I found the ring. Here it is. So it does come in gold as well. This gold is gorgeous, first of all. Let's get that straight. <laughs> and this is an Australian designer called Charles Leachath. And his goal is just affordable luxury, which is such an oxymoron, but you can totally feel that in his pieces. I think when I look at it on this model, I, it looks like it's a lot more than it is. And it's the cheapest ring that I showed you guys here today, even after the two upcycled brass rings. So this is the Mira ring. And as you can see, it looks so gorgeous and chic on the model. And she's not even wearing any other rings. And it looks like, you know, her hand is finished. So they do a shine finish. It is one size fits most. So just be wary of that as you guys are shopping this brand. But I think the price is unbeatable, honestly. It looks insane. And let's just see if they have any care tips. No, this brand doesn't have any care tips. But just to give you guys some tips, all my gold jewelry, I do like to, you know, shine them up sometimes. And then I'll also um, make sure not to wear them in the shower, things like that. And that's why I've been able to keep some of these um, pieces for a while because I just... I do not go in the shower with them. I don't go in the pool with them. I don't go swimming with them. Nothing like that at all. And if you guys have a lot of rings like me, I did get this hand piece from um, Michael's. So it keeps all my rings really organized. And so don't be afraid to shop online. If you guys are like, oh, I'm worried I'm going to lose the rings. Like, no, go crazy on Very Shop because their deals are insane. This is, you're getting this ring. So... I thought you guys were getting it for $36. You're actually getting it for $30 in this live. So don't be afraid to shop that, guys. $30 for this luxury ring that's already um, from a brand that wants to be affordable and make it affordable luxury. And the fact that you're getting another deal on top of their already sale items, I think that's beautiful. So, yeah, this is how I keep all my rings in line. I never lose them. When I come home, I just pop them on. So that's my advice if you guys are kind of worried about getting too many rings. Michael's is my spot. I keep all my rings there. And I'll also show you guys how I store my necklaces as well. We're going to move on to earrings now. And I just want to start with, again, I thought I was presenting this in gold, but it did pop up 